chopped up on that piece of wood there to give it a, an idea and that's how the that's how the front looks so you can see how it would how it would go on the end sorry the camera works too bad yeah so what I'll do now is I'll build the other side of this and uh, now I have the frame size I need and everything seems to work okay I just have to recreate that bottom frame so as you can see I've made a new piece done all the cuts all the way along so there's two pieces so I have to make two of those for the second side what I'll do now is I'll just go along and I'll just tack weld in between so I know that the so I know that the angles are exactly the same and then cut this down you can see it's a little bit of overhang there and there's quite a bit on that side because it's uh, the two uh, meters long so I'll do this one take this one up and then check before I do the complete weld that it's the right shape and then make a second one and then build another frame so we've got two sides with the two side pieces like this on it um, and then I can start kind of uh, putting it together this is how it looks before it goes to paint uh, we'll be painting it tomorrow hopefully uh, still got a few bits and pieces to rub down gonna finish off the hinges on the bonnet um, and I made this same feature as I did on the Land Rover uh, so that can, comes down if we want to or it's transit or whatever and then you just tighten up these wing nuts here you can see it's got that uh, checker floor in it this box is covering the batteries and motors I made the little seat that's a proper it's from a Land Rover that uh, but as you say you can see the back I think the scale's not too bad looks, looks reasonably good <coughs> there's a bump uh, a round tube to go on the back bumper and one on the front but they'll be done in orange the car is going to be baby blue um, and we've got some checker plate to fill up these holes on the corners and uh, I think we'll even be able to put somebody on the back somebody could sit backwards on it so we'll show you when it's in colour so that's it in the um, speedwell blue or the baby blue all the paint on it looks really nice it's just it's, it's dry now yeah looks looks pretty nice that's the bonnet and these are the inside bits here the bits that go in there you can see where the screw on the side there and uh yeah it's looking nice and once all the lights are in and everything it's gonna look pretty good so these are the bumpers that I made. This is uh, the rear bumper. This one here is the front one. Um, the pipe is galvy, so what we'll do is we'll put some paint on it. It'll be dry tomorrow, and then we'll give them a rub up and put some new paint on them because they'll come up much better. Um, and uh, look at this. You can hardly see the orange livery on that car. There's so much dust. This is why we made this uh, uh, kind of tent affair up, this, this thing here. So I'm going to do all our painting in there because the dust just goes everywhere. And look at look at this. I mean, you can only it's going out tomorrow. But look look, look at the difference in the. You can see the stir on it. That's the dust. It's unbelievable. So we'll take it out tomorrow and give it a good clean. We don't want the dust in here if we can help it. But look, I mean, it's really it's absolutely caked in it. Right back window. Oh God. Well, yeah, it's just painted up. It's got the gold stripes on it um, but I have to wait till Monday to get the gold sticker logos that are going to go onto it um, because they have to be made uh, made up and printed um, and everything's working all the lights I'll take you around and show you so you've got indicators on the front headlights There's a stop lights on the back and those bumper bar things are also handles for lifting it. So there we are. You've got the switches down there. <coughs> the kind of square black one, that's uh, left and right indicators. The black long stalk button, that's the headlights. And the small tiny switches, the forwards and backwards. So you've got reverse as well on this. So there we are. Get a few more stickers and logos on it and things, and uh, get it finished. There you go. Look at 
get that windscreen out clean, it's manky. Nice thing about that is that, that folds down as well if we want to. So you can have it down that way or you lift it up. It depends how you tighten these screws at the end. And that's it. Just got a few golf stickers on it and we're done. Ah, we have to put these plates on the end here. You can see where this opening is here on all four corners. And this is the plates, these are the stickers. Uh, there's the plates there, front, rear. So, or front, right, I should say. So there we are. Done. Finished. Hopefully the kids will enjoy it and the big kids will enjoy it. <laughs>